Hi, I wanted to just make a video comparing the three different um, second grade language arts curriculums that I bought for my daughter because I was having a difficult time deciding so I just wanted to get each of them and really look through them and see which one would be the best fit for my daughter. I still haven't really decided but I wanted to show the first one I'll show you is a Becca and this just has their language too and their letters and sounds books. Um, then there is the Good and the Beautiful, which is a pretty new curriculum, um, but it is definitely very beautiful. Abeka has been around for a long, long, long time. I used to do it when I was a kid and I was homeschooled. And the third one um, that I was really excited about too is Language Lessons for a Living Education by Masterbooks, and this is a brand new curriculum as well. I think um, Good and the Beautiful is about two years old, and then this one is brand new. So you can start out with the traditional Abeka. Um, they have two different books. They actually have another book for um, handwriting and another book for spelling, but these are just the two that I had gotten. So it's um, definitely colorful. Um, got lots of different activities to do to learn different letters. So this is, yeah, creative, um, different colorful little games and everything. So it's very strong in um, phonics. I mean, you definitely get a strong reader by going through these books. Um, then there's their language, which is actually learning more how to write things. They actually have to write sentences, um, sort of some comprehensive comprehension questions too, um, like punctuation is in this book. So yeah, like what is the name of the bird in this picture? Um, what's the color of their bird? I think they have, oh, they make a story there. So, yeah, so this is an, I mean, it's a solid curriculum. Rebecca's been around for a long time. It's um, pretty affordable, too. I think these are $20 each for these books. So all of these are quite affordable curriculums. Um, so anyways, and then we have The Good and the Beautiful. I think this one will take a little bit more... Um, it's not going to be as student directed. It's going to take more of my interaction with my daughter. Um, first of all, well, I'll show you the reader first. The reader is absolutely beautiful. Abeka has some readers too, but they are not. Um, and I really like the good and the beautiful readers. They are um, almost like traditional stories, I would say. Some like older stories. Um, some classics. But, but just very beautiful stories. My daughter loved the first grade reader because it had a lot of stories about nature and animals. Um, so anyways, the good and the beautiful, it is a complete curriculum all in one along with the reader. So you get all of your phonics, um, language arts. They just, they have another handwriting book that you can get too. Um, but it also encompasses... Um, let me see if I can find some of their, they have geography and art as well. So they add, they incorporate geography, they incorporate some art in it as well, which is really neat. Um, yeah, here they're talking about diagramming sentences. Um, so it's not quite as colorful as the Abeka. Um, they've got a good amount of phonics. You know, they've got spelling words in here as well. Um, different things to go through. So I'm just letting you guys I'll practice sentences so they have to read those. Um, I'll go later on in the book. They've got quite a bit um, condensed in this book. So here's more, more geography, spelling rules. There's a story, so they do, you know, reading the story and comprehension, and yeah. So this, I mean, you can see it's, it, I think I'm going to have to go through this one more with her, actually. Oh, here's some art, you know, to actually go through and read more of this to her. It's not going to be quite as um, student-directed, but it does look like a beautiful curriculum. Um, then they have the Language Lessons for a Living Education. This one seems like a nice in-between, the, the other two, the good and the beautiful. Each day, um, they have a different, let's see where they have that. 
they talk about how the first day of the week they Uh, well, I'll just have to show you in here. The first day, of, they have a whole curriculum outline here. But the first day of the week, they have a story that they read and they do comprehension. Um, then I think they do grammar practice is the second day and third day. So they do some grammar and practice copy work. And then the fourth day, they do their own writing. And then fifth day is spelling. So they, they try to do, you know, switch around. So then you go back, you know, the next week, you, you know, go through and they do some reading. Actually, that was more of writing, though. Um, more grammar practice. Um, and this is a really nice... Um, this looks like a really nice curriculum. It is going to be so hard to decide which one that I want to use because they are all beautiful curriculums. Um, but this one is supposed to have oral narration. Like they, they tell what's going on with the story. So this incorporates art as well. And then grammar and at the end there's spelling again. So anyways, hopefully you liked looking through these. They're all beautiful choices. I think the good and the beautiful is about $40. And I think the language lessons is like 27. So they're all definitely affordable choices. And I don't think you could go wrong with any one of them. It sort of depends what you'd like to use for your child. So hopefully that helped somebody out.